Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here, GMAT Review, the 13th edition official guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 153 and today is our lesson number 7. Problem number 7 is what we're going to do here. We are told, we are given a graph here which looks something like this. When, when, x, when x is 0, I'm going, to, I'm going to reproduce the graph. When x is 0, y is 3. 1, 2, 3 goes through here, when x is 2, y is 0, 1, 2, and then we are told that when x is half, y is 2, when x is half, y is 2, which is this part right here, when x is 1, y is 1, when x is 1, y is 1, This graph has a name. I did not do a very good job of drawing it. This graph has a name. This line that we just drew here, it's called line of symmetry. Even though you do not require that here, you do not need to know that here in this problem, but it is good to know because it does appear. You do need to know it. It's called line of symmetry because this graph is symmetric along that line. Now what is, if somebody were to ask you what is the equation of the line of symmetry in this graph, what would you say? What is the equation of the line of symmetry in this graph? The equation of the line of symmetry is x equals 2. You see? x equals 2. Wherever x, in all of these points here, all the points here, x equals 2. Of course the value of y keeps changing, but x equals 2. That's all. Regardless of what y is, x is 2 in the line of symmetry. The question simply is, how much is y when x is 3? It's very simple. This is 1, this is 2, right here is 3, and because it is symmetric, it's going to be here. When x, when x is 3, when x is 3, y is going to be right here, which is same as this, this guy right here. This point and this point, they are symmetric. y is going to be 1. That's all. That's all. I'm going to draw freehand. I'm going to draw it freehand so you can see it here. This is our line of symmetry. This is our line of symmetry. And it looks something like this. When x, when x is equal to 1, this is 2, this is 1, and this is 3. When x is equal to 1, whatever the value of y is, the same value here when x is equal to 3. It's the exact same value which is 1. That's all. Let's do the next one, okay? Oh, by the way, if you are interested, this, this graph, this graph that you see here, this graph right here, it has a name. It is called a parabola. Now, it is good to have a little working knowledge of parabola. They do not expect you to know a lot about it, but they do expect you to know the fundamentals of this concept of parabola. If you want to learn more about parabola, the basic concept, the fundamental concept, as I said, you can watch these videos if you like. If it's up to you. How much you want to put into this, this exam, how much you want to put into preparing for this exam, the math part of this exam, of course, obviously, is entirely up to you. The help is here if you're, if you're interested. Just type in, this is what you want to type in. Type in my name, Kishwani, and then type in geometry, geometry for GRE. Geometry for GRE, and watch all of these days. There are seven days I spend on that concept. Just type in geometry for GRE, day 35, 36, 41, 47, 55, 51, 55, and 56. Geometry for GRE. If there is any concept that is giving you trouble in geometry, like a slope or uh, the area of a circle or whatever it is that you want to learn, just uh, type in and see what pops up. Just type in geometry for, G geometry for GMAT and, and then type in the topic and see what pops up. Let's do the next one. Problem number eight. Problem number eight is a different concept. Problem number eight deals with the concept of percentages. We are told that one tenth 
a percent of 5,000 is to be subtracted is to be subtracted from a tenth of a 5,000 that's it one tenth of a percent one tenth of a percent of 5,000 is to be subtracted from a tenth of a 5,000 it is very important that you pay attention to the wording it's not a difficult problem but it does require attention otherwise otherwise you're going to muck it up do you understand? muck it up it's an M not an F M as in Mary muck it up here we go so first we got to figure out a tenth of a tenth of a 5,000 a tenth of a 5,000 a tenth of anything is same as 10% so let's find out. 10% of 5,000. Well, how do you find 10% of 5,000? You just take your 5,000 and drop a zero. It's just 500. 1% of 5,000. 1% of 5,000 is simply is simply 100th of it. 1% of anything. 1% means 100th of something. 1 out of 100. 100th 100 of something. You just drop two zeros. So we find out that 1% of 5,000 is 50. Now, we can figure out a tenth of a percent, a tenth of a 5,000, a tenth of a percent, a tenth of a percent of 5,000. Since you're taking a tenth of this amount, this is one percent, and you're taking one tenth of that, whatever that amount is, you take out one more zero. So one more time, 10 percent, 10 percent of 5,000, 10 percent of 5,000 is, you just take out one zero, is 500. One percent of 5,000 is, you knock out two zeros and it's 50. One tenth of a one percent, one tenth of a percent of 5,000 is going to be a tenth of this guy. This is one percent, so one tenth of that is going to be a tenth of this guy, which was 50. So it's just five. And now all we have to do is subtract the two amount. All we have to do is subtract the two amount. So what should we do it? Let's do it here. This quantity here, 10 percent of 5,000. 10% of 5,000 we just found out is 500. So, tenth of five, tenth of 5,000. We take that quantity, a tenth of 5,000, and from that, from that we are supposed to subtract one tenth of a percent of 5,000. One tenth of a percent. One tenth percent of five thousand, which we just found out was five. So it's basically this is what it boils down to. It's basically we don't need this middle part here. I'm making it too complicated. We don't need this middle part here. This is ten percent of five thousand, and from that, from the ten percent of five thousand, one tenth, one tenth is ten percent. From 10% we have to subtract one tenth of a percent which is 5. So it's basically 500 minus 5 which is 495. We don't need any of this. I was making it too complicated for no reason. That's all. So it's just 500 minus 5 is 495 which is answer number D. That's what it is. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Now remember what I said about parabola. If you want to learn more about them, the days are there. Just type in geometry for GMAT and see what pops up. Just type in geometry for GMAT and then perp and then, then, then the topic parabola and you will see there are a whole bunch of them. You will see all of these days. 35, 36, 41, 47, 51, 55, 56. These are all geometry videos. You understand? There is a separate playlist on my on my channel for geometry videos that's what you want to watch. Okay. I'll see you then. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.